My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323. So just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up. Get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn. Get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, peoples? How y'all suckers doing today, man? What are you seeing in front of your screen, suckers? What are you seeing? You are seeing some of that greatness known as that uncharted multiplayer bro i cannot tell you how many hours i done put into this game's online lord have mercy now what you are seeing is uncharted 3 and mainly what i just said pertains to uncharted 2 not this <laughs> but even with 3 you can't lie we put hours into this game back in the day on ps3 man now i got back on this game it was like two or three days ago just to kind of you know relive times you know and just you know see the bs is still in this game <laughs> but I, I i tried to get on uncharted 2's online first and i would get into searching for players and it would find like it, it will find like five of them but it would never fill up the lobby so then it would keep on resetting the search keep resetting the search and i was just like after like an hour of doing that i was like yo i'm not gonna find this game so then i got on this <laughs> you know and uh i'm showing you guys this because i want to talk about uncharted 4 but not just uncharted 4 story you know which i which is still the reason why you buy uncharted let's not get it twisted out there but i want to talk about uncharted 4's multiplayer man i'm really excited to see what they do with it this time around especially with all the feedback they got in three you know now we all know the nathan drake collection drops on october 9th and after that soon uh the uncharted 4 beta will come out now uh charlie if you're watching this vid sucker i still plan on getting that beta code from you sucker <laughs> because you promised the sucker sucker now you need to let me know if you are a man of your wood <laughs> so well i'm definitely excited for that uncharted 4 multiplayer beta and what this video is going to be about here because while i was playing this games online i was just like yo are they gonna like follow the same footsteps that they did with three <laughs> because the difference from uncharted 2's online to uncharted 3's it's like night and day. Uncharted uh, now the Uncharted 2 online that was you know the beginning of multiplayer in Uncharted. One did not have online, so when they tried it out in two, it was like okay, let's see how this works. And I honestly didn't think that they could pull it off because I was just like, how are you going to have a online for a game that is mainly about the single player? But lo and behold, they pulled it off in Uncharted 2 online was shockingly really good and a lot of us played it and loved it man but then in uncharted 3 it it, it still kept some things about what we loved and and you know in uncharted 2's online but it did things differently it added a lot of stuff in the game that kind of casualized the game made it more new friendly for people so that's what this video is going to be about because with the uncharted 4 multiplayer beta around the corner I think it starts in December 1st, I think. I am really intrigued to see what they do with the multiplayer in Uncharted 4. Are they going to, you know, follow in the same footsteps as 3? Or are they going to revert back to how the online was in 2? Will the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta be as casual? As Uncharted 3's was. Will the Uncharted 4 multiplayer in general be as casual as 3 was? Now, 3 still took some skill, but it was just different. It just was not Uncharted 2. If you, because a, a lot of people, they didn't play Uncharted 2 online back in the day when it was still in its prime, when people were playing that game every day. So if you were one of those people, let me explain to you. You, you. what made uncharted 2's online so good man so what made uncharted 2 so good man um man 
Damn, I'm just reliving the times and just thinking back when Uncharted 2 was really in its prime. And this this online cut us all by surprise because again, like when when you thought Uncharted, you just thought of okay, this is a good single player game to play. But when you thought online, it was just like how are they gonna pull a online out of this? But they took us all by surprise and it really worked. It was a it was a respectable third person online shooter that still that still kept the gameplay aspects of what made Uncharted so good as a single player game and transferred that over to the online. I mean Uncharted 2, it was a third person real bare bones shooter that took skill, had great maps that was fun to play with your friends, had ranks, stuff like that. I mean it was just a really good surprisingly good shooter to play man and we eventually fell in love with it back on ps3 and i put so many hours into uncharted 2 online fast forward to three <laughs> fast forward to three now we're three threes online was not terrible because we still put a lot of hours into three regardless of all the bs that that was in that game but they made the online in uncharted 3 so casual compared to two so noob friendly compared to two that the people that played two that's why they didn't really like the three uh uh threes online a lot of people that didn't play two and just went straight into playing three online they don't really see a problem with the online that was in uncharted three but if you play both games and you've seen how both onlines were in their prime that's why so many people prefer Uncharted 2's online as opposed to 3. Now, 3's online, again, it wasn't bad. It was just... They put so many... <laughs> they put so many casual things in the game that just completely just changed up about what we loved about 2's online. So, here is the things that they really put in 3 that was not in 2 that kind of changed up the game. Sprint. Now, Sprint is like, okay, it's just Sprint, but this is not, this doesn't just go for Uncharted. This goes for a lot of games. A lot of games that, you know, come to find out, a, a lot of games that, you know, have an online and people love to play, you would think that adding something like sprint really wouldn't be an issue but it actually i still remember before halo had sprint you know people just love the game for what it was and when they put sprint in reach people was like no sprint has to go like people were the halo vets for years were trying to say sprint needs to go it has no place in halo <laughs> for whatever reason if you start off with the online game and it does not have sprint and people fall in love with it if your next game does have sprint, people will complain about it. And it's like so simple because it's, it's just sprint. But Uncharted 3 had sprint and 2 did not. Now, the Uncharted Online, you always kind of ran somewhat. But in, in Uncharted 3, you, 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 you can do like a full-fledged sprint. And a lot of people didn't really like that. Looking back at it, sprint really wasn't the issue in 3 at all. Because I, I, I remember playing the Uncharted 3 beta and a lot of people say this if you remember playing the uncharted 3 beta it was actually a better online than the actual uncharted 3 online <laughs> for whatever reason something went wrong after the uncharted 3 beta was over <laughs> because the uncharted 3 beta was a better version of uncharted 3's online than the actual online man so but here is the three main issues that i thought was in uncharted 3 kickbacks Kickbacks, kill streaks, whatever that was not in two before they put that in a chart through. Now I get it. People, players love to feel, you know, that sense of reward while doing good in an online game. And Call of Duty did it really well. Call of Duty is really the re is the reason why we have, you know, these kill streaks and stuff like that. But kickbacks, because it wasn't in two again, like people had a problem with kickbacks. Even I had a problem with kickbacks. But does Uncharted Four? you know uh need to have kickbacks in it i don't think so i i i think it would be better to kind of go back to how uncharted 2 was real bare bones and just it really just took skill and you know you can still reward players without you know having kill streaks in in your game does kick now can kickback still be in uncharted in uncharted 4 and they can do it better this time around, yes, because in Uncharted 3, 
it was just certain kickbacks that I had a problem with. The smoke bomb kickback to where you can literally vanish in thin air if you was in trouble. You you can literally just vanish in thin air and just go to a different spot on the map. <laughs> and it's just like, why? And then they had that and they had the, uh, I'm trying to remember all of the uh, kickbacks. Oh yeah, they had the one to where you like turned into a whole bunch of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> they had that one. They had the uh, oh man, what else did they have? They had the uh, oh they had the cluster grenade kickback to where you threw a grenade, and literally out of that grenade, like eight grenades, <laughs> like eight grenades came out of that grenade. It was so hard to get away from. It was just I, okay. I, all right. I don't think if they were to have kickbacks in Uncharted 4's online, I it wouldn't be the end of the world. But some of the kickbacks that they had in three, they need to go. <laughs> they they can't have it be like that because some of those kickbacks were just so ridiculous and just like, why would you put this in the game? It was just like, especially the spider one and the cluster grenade, and I mean the RPG one was not bad, but. The blind firing people were blind fire rpgs and that's what i'm going to get to soon but the kickbacks okay if they're in fours online it wouldn't be the end of the world but if you do have kickbacks in four which i prefer you not to but if it is just have it be like more i don't know less stupid kickback <laughs> less ridiculous kickback because some of those kickbacks in a chart three from the smoke bomb to cluster grenade to the uh spiders it was just retarded so that's what i that's what i can say with kickbacks if it is in four eh, i don't want to really prefer but if it is it's not the end of the world but if they do it this time around it can't be the way you know the way it was in three um the power plays the power plays has always and will always be my biggest issue with Uncharted 3. I, there is no explanation why. If a team is getting raped, why would you try to help that team come back from their rape? <laughs> it was literally, that was the most casual thing I have ever seen in an online game. I, I, I don't know how that came to be I, I don't know how they thought to put that in their online but it would literally be like if you was destroying a team they would get a power play and the power play would give that team the advantage and they could like see they they, they could see you through walls they would get extra uh damage to their guns it was just stuff like that that could change the tide of the game and this one it even be to where they're like down like i don't know 40 to 10 they will be down by like i don't know five or six kills and then it would be like power play income it's like what <laughs> it was like this power plays dude that was one of the biggest things i could not stand in uncharted 3 power plays i don't even have to explain myself power plays naughty dog gotta go <laughs> i swear to god if i see power plays in uncharted 4 <laughs> oh my god that junk has to go taken out no 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 mm -mm, nope <laughs> i will make the exception for kickbacks if they do it this time right but power play nope mm -mm. there there should be no reason why if a team sucks you try to help them <laughs> you try to help them win no suck it if you suck you suck take the l and come back and try to practice and get better at the game power plays no they gotta go okay that was the only thing i really despised in three power plays they have to go last but not least blind firing blind firing in a charter has always been a thing even in two, you could always blind fire in two, but I remember, my lord, <laughs> I remember, because I, I, I was just playing this game, and it's the same thing, man, people are literally running around the map, just blind firing, this is literally, maybe the only shooter to where you do not need to aim to get kills, to be the top player on the team, even in Call of Duty, like, you can still hit fire, but people still aim in Call of Duty. Uncharted was one of those only games that 
you almost legit did not need to aim to be the top player on the team. I say mid-range, going to close range, blind firing was the thing to do, man. It was so... It was almost too accurate. <laughs> it was way too accurate. Blind firing in a charge three, the junk has always been too accurate. People will always just blind fire you while trying to run up to you and melee. That was the thing to do, man. And there should be no reason why people that are aiming in the game get get outplayed by someone that's blind firing <laughs> there should be no reason for that so again blind firing has always been a thing in uncharted but in uncharted 4's online it cannot be that accurate it just can't it cannot it has to either go back to two or even less accurate like cannot be that accurate man uh now the melees in the chart has always been kind of iffy you know once a year you go online so they can maybe tweak that a, a little bit but all i asked for in a charter fours online you can keep sprint i don't really have a issue with sprint right you can even keep kickbacks but kickback if you were to keep kickbacks you have like you cannot have ridiculous stuff like that you can't have cluster grenades and turn into spider-man and, <laughs> and you can't be able to night crawl to night crawler yourself out of danger just teleport smoke bomb poof you're gone if you have stuff like that in kickbacks nah sucker so keep that out of the game but even with kickbacks, you you can keep that in four. Just don't have ridiculous stuff like that. The two main things that I think that really need to change, you know, going from Uncharted 3 to 4, is the power plays have to be exiled. <laughs> the power plays have to become extinct, and the blind fire has to really be tweaked, man. That's, that's really... It, I really think that was the main thing that made Uncharted 3 so new friendly. The ridiculous kickbacks, the power plays, and the blind firing was too accurate. That's really it. Uncharted 3's online was still really good, man. But that, it, it, was de it definitely was more new friendly compared to 2. And I just think if they, if they uh, kind of revert back to how... 2's online was but kind of keep a little bit from what they did in 3 but just tweak it and make it not so ridiculous <laughs> it's like Uncharted 4 can really be a great game but if they try to follow completely in the footsteps of 3 I think Uncharted I think on I think Uncharted, Uncharted 4 is going to be another game that has a lot of issues and is going to be like oh my gosh why is this in the game but we're still going to play it so what do you guys think that should change from threes online to fours online leave it down in the con in the comments below uh again i think the uncharted 4 beta starts in uh december i believe so i definitely will be excited for that can't wait to play that i can't wait to see what direction they take the online and of course they're going to add some new stuff to the game and uh, stuff like that but i think it's best that they kind of revert back to how two's online was keep some things that they did well in three and then add some new things for four and i think that could make a really good uncharted online but what do you guys think what should change from threes online to four leave it down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed this video catch y'all seconds in my next one all right peace